Time now for The Clash. Now, did you see this tweet on Tuesday from Lawrence Fox? The Reclaim Party leader started trending after declaring, bad times make hard men, hard men make good times, good times make soft men, soft men make bad times, we are in bad times, we need men. Now, tittering Twitter users couldn't look beyond the innuendo in his statement, but should they have taken Lawrence's point about men needing to show strength in the face of adversity more seriously? Well, I'm delighted to welcome Lawrence onto the show tonight and to debate him on this, Kate Smirthwaite, the comedian, activist and feminist, is here. So, so Lawrence, let's kick off with you. Tell me about the tweet, what inspired it? Well, I think that we're, we're, we're in a position where the, the principal people in this world are not standing up and we're, we're living in a, an age of moral relativism where we sort of go, well, the Taliban might be nice people and all this sort of stuff. But actually, you know, I believe in fathers. I believe in, in, I believe in boundaries. I believe in all the things that families create in the world. And um, and I think moral relativism is a, is a big mistake. So, you know, that's where I come from in that, on that one. So hard men, who is a hard man? How do you define a hard man? No, it's not about a hard man or a hard woman. It's, it's, a, it's about principle, people. It's about having principles, it's about standing up for the things that liberal Western democracy is all about, which is like the whole point of liberal Western democracy is that it's better than the Taliban, for example. You know, we don't throw gay people off buildings and uh, we don't shoot women in the head and the millions of videos that are being sent today. You know, we, we respect each other. And the, the, the entire idea of liberal Western democracy is that we're better than um, other other ways of living and we're not theocratic and we we are um you know we, we allow everyone to practice their own religion and their own movement and their own feeling in a free and open society and and th th this sort of you know moral re relativism is is dreadful i think um, hey, is there anything there that you take issue with is there anything there that i don't take issue with um would be the first question really <laughs> i mean it's quite weird to say we need men to stand up to the Taliban. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Taliban is quite a sort of blokey organisation. It's, I mean, if you're like, we need more men. To, I mean, surely, surely it's quite obvious that the problem, one of the big, big, big problems with the Taliban is that women have been sidelined. Women are losing all their rights under the Taliban. And the last thing that we, oh, let's let's have let's have Western men fighting men in Afghanistan. Hold on a minute. Let's look at what's going on around the world. We need less war, and that means less men, less armed, less of that. We also need the big problems that we face right now, are climate change and the pandemic. We need science developing vaccines. We need people working on important environmental developments. The last thing we need are, you know, and to put this in like inverted commas, hard men. I mean, what, what on earth? Why do we need bully boys to come around and, and solve those problems? What we need are thinkers and people with really good ideas to sort out the real, real problems that we're facing. And, you know, one of those is how we establish peace globally and how we welcome refugees who are escaping from places where they're not getting that. And we should be doing so much right now to make sure that women from, you know, Afghanistan and from all parts of the world who are not treated fairly have the opportunity to get out. And okay, also so that when they get here, they're not meeting yet more sexism because I'm sorry to say that even in the UK, it is simply the case that what women are threatened by overwhelmingly is still men. And I think calling for hard men, to me, it, it feels quite threatening, frankly. So, so Lawrence, Kate's argument there is actually the world would be better with less hard men, maybe less men altogether. Maybe Kate should go and spend some time in Afghanistan and see how she gets on over there with her views. Oh, OK. So you're literally like sort of threatening me now. I mean, that's that's no, that's I'm just saying I, I'm just that's I, really, I, really I, obnoxious. Like I, because I've not I'm said saying... Afghanistan is wonderful. I've said we should be supporting the women of Afghanistan. And, you know, to I interpret the women that of as everywhere, like, babe. On, I, I and also, the women I'm sorry, of everywhere. the fact that if I might finish, Lawrence, the fact that mm -hmm. women are treated badly in Afghanistan actually doesn't make it okay. Murdered, you murdered, shot in the head, shot in the head, shot in the head. They're shot in the head. They're murdered. They're shot in the head.
Sorry. They're, they're murdered Sorry, now you're for just expressing their opinions. They're just they're, women but, but, in, in Afghanistan are being shot me, in the head. You seem to be threatening me. I'm not what, what is your I'm point? I'm you that women are being shot in the head and murdered in Afghanistan for saying I have I'm well aware to be a of woman. That. I've been campaigning for okay, a very, very so long do you time support, to support do you... women in Afghanistan and all around the world. But, but how? Lawrence, but you know Lawrence, the people how... who are shooting women in the head? Do you know what they think they are? They think they're hard men. And the last thing we no, need they don't. is this message they that don't somehow think that. hard it's men are more aggression men. problems. But Lawrence, does Kate that is not absolutely them. not right. But Lawrence, what do you say to Kate's point? Of that course it is. Even the way that you're behaving right now is nothing short of aggression, is it? Well, I don't think Lawrence okay, is so, aggressive. Okay, so, so sorry. <laughs> I'm so aggressive. Yeah. Has she been but, shouting but, over but, me but, with the words... Shot in the head, shot in the head. I don't know how a woman to be I've been sent a video today. I've been sent I've been sent That's I've about been sent the most aggressive of I'm aware of. It, now now sorry, time sorry. out, time, time, time out, time out. Lawrence, what about the point that Kate makes that actually if there was more female leadership, maybe less men in leadership, there that. would be... I mean, that's a point men. that I might make, Dan, but you can't just make up points that I haven't said. <laughs> you can't. I mean, this is what you, that's what you were hinting I mean, at. I would, be, I would welcome a discussion about female leadership, but I haven't raised that issue at all, actually. So, it, I mean, it seems to me that you two are just going to have your own argument and I might as well just sit here and sing Tomorrow Belongs to Me. OK, 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 OK. OK, calm down. Why don't you tell me what you think oh, you the best way to, to deal with the world is? Great. Brilliant. Genius. Well, well, I'm not the stressed one. Bonus I'm, like, one. quite relaxed. So so you tell oh, me right. what you think okay. the best way of, of dealing no with... Probably no one's been uh, shot people, in the you, head you tell me what you think the best, each, the best way of people... No point you both speaking over each other. No point you speaking... Shooting women in the head. You tell me what you think the best way is. You tell me. And, I, and then I'll subscribe to it if it's, if it's sensible. What, what do you think? I, I What's think your the view? best thing is for you... At, at, at this point, you two seem to be having your own argument. I don't really know what I'm here for. It seems like a complete waste of everybody's time. I haven't said at any point that I support anything that the Taliban are doing. I mean, of course not, because that's absolutely ridiculous. But it is simply not the case that the options out there are the Taliban or whatever Lawrence Fox thinks. I mean, I'm delighted to say oh, that there are other choices out there, such Goodness as welcoming say. refugees, such as... Come on, you're smarter than that. You, you do feminists I mean, a massive disservice by doing this rubbish that you do every time you go on TV. It's such a disservice but, to feminists. Like, I'm a feminist. I believe in women. I love women. Oh, that's right? hilarious. The most amazing things in the world. Is it? Really? I Wait, love don't women. You, Kate, I think don't you want men? The don't world. you like men, Kate, who define themselves as feminists like Lawrence? Isn't that what you want? I, I welcome men who are feminists and I welcome men who support equality and I welcome men who support all of that stuff. And just because Lawrence Fox says he is, it's not the same. You know, do you, you know how like, you know, sometimes political parties say they're socialists, but they're not. You know how sometimes when people say one thing, it's <laughs> sort of not true, you know, but like when Constantine says he's a comedian, that sort of thing. Um, it's not oh, always that's below the way the that belt. That's made. hurtful. Brilliant. Why are you being told? Well, I'm sorry, it means what hurts. Constantine, she says to the man who was recently actually... shouting about shooting women in the head. I mean, didoms. Const I couldn't be less no. bothered if your feelings were hurt, Lawrence, well, you could... but, you know. Hang on, sorry. What, what, could you, what, what, what couldn't you be less bothered by? At least I'm not shouting about shooting people in the head, eh? Today, in Kabul... A woman was shot in the head I for know, saying, I'm a woman, I have rights. OK, so what I'm saying to you is let's just be respectful of the fact that we need strong, principled men and women to stand up but that's and not what talk you said. about. You said we need men. It was all about men. It was men, men, men. The only thing. It yeah, yeah, we do need men. End, we do. We, uh, uh, you stand. know what? I'll stand by that. We do need men. We need men now. Because women, are, how happy are we as a society? We're not happy. So let's get the men out. You aren't the proper men. That, Lawrence. But Lawrence, that but Lawrence that we need women as well, don't we? You, I we suggest need strong yeah, yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might find that you've got, you know, less issues in there because I have to say that I'm very happy with the way that I feel now? about my views and with my <laughs> ongoing 
enthusiasm for truth and justice. I'm, I sleep well at night, Lawrence, and if you don't, I think perhaps you should look at your life and think about what your priorities are. Lawrence? Hang on a minute. So you, you sleep well at night? I mean, I sleep well at night. We all sleep well at night. I mean, I don't sleep particularly well at night at the moment because it's very hot. But what, and look, we, we, do, do? we don't need to get personal because we're having a debate here about the role of masculinity yeah, yeah, in society. Yeah, yeah, let's debate. Let's so, so, debate. So, so, Kate, tell me honestly, do you think there is an issue with macho and masculine culture in the UK? We have a huge problem with toxic masculinity. It's not to say that there's a problem with men who want to, um, you know, do things that, you know, like, for example, supporting those around them or being gentlemanly or whatever. Nobody has a problem with that. But what there is a problem with is there is violence in our society. There's enthusiasm um, for, you know, there's, we, there's a lot of things in our society which fall into that toxic masculinity the idea that in order to demonstrate your masculinity you have oh. to be aggressive towards women you have to be domineering you have to be pushy etc etc of course those things are problems so boring you're so boring groups of guys so boring. making you know going around I, yeah I, I understand that i didn't hear that um but um, of course, there are issues in our society with toxic masculinity. And we've just seen, haven't we, the shootings in Plymouth. We've seen in numerous incidences of a toxic masculine culture. That's not to say that anybody trying to do their best to be a great guy is a problem. The problem is that there is a toxic element to some of this uh, masculine culture. And I'm afraid to say that Lawrence knows perfectly well that he is fanning the flames of that and pandering to it in the hope of picking up. Yeah, the big time. I mean, I mean, it's, no, no, I not with the board. I'm sorry, you don't sleep so well at night. Lawrence, I can't help thinking. Give the final word you, to you. You're well you aware that, to that? that what you're doing is just incendiary well, and hasn't Lawrence really got anything to, that, to do with we trying need, to figure out we, how to we solve need, actual problems. We need men to stand up and we need women to stand up. Principled, strong convictions. Where's your stand up. about how That's we need, need. women then? What, why have we got not the what I Why don't we just say we need people to be on the side of truth and justice and to fight for the things that are important, like peace, okay, like supporting quick, quick, refugees, quick, 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 one, climate quick change, one like quick dealing one with the pandemic. Final word to you, Lawrence. Final word to you, Lawrence. Do, you, Lawrence. Do, Thank do, you, do, do, we, do women give birth or do people That's give birth? That's reasonable. He hasn't spoken over everybody else the whole time or anything. He should definitely get the final word. I mean, do well, what you like. Do people now. give birth or do women give birth? He's asked you a question. We need to have a debate about what some random act says that doesn't even make sense. Hey, do you want to respond to Lawrence's question? every time. Best of luck. Okay. I I wasn't actually listening to you. Don't add hominem me. Well, this is your problem, you see. This is your problem. You don't actually listen. So I do listen. I will listen to your argument. But do women give birth or do people give birth? Came Answer the question. Do women give birth or do people give birth? You weren't actually saying anything birth? that was logically consistent or meaningful. And to be honest, I think that it's a waste of good news time to be discussing a, a ridiculous tweet that, that made okay. more sense if you'd put it on your dating profile. It sounds <laughs> <laughs> great, my veins, but there well. was nothing that you can't that do to an well. offended feminist. <laughs> that went well. Thank you so much.